Hello YouTube, it's JPOG101 and um, I'm going to show you a video on how to uh, skin. This is an updated version from my uh, uh, old old tutorial. So what you want to need here is uh, software such as DDS Converter 2, GIMP, and uh, Hex Editor Neo. You could have um, other software but I'm using GIMP right now. So and use uh, convert cct I'll provide links to those software below on the description and you're also gonna want uh, a skin from the matlibs folder so once you grab once you got your skin oh by the way don't get the 16-bit version just get the normal one so what you wanna do is drag the file the skin to convert cct And it's going to give us uh, pictures of the skin. The yeah. So I'm going to mod a T Rex right now because that's the most interesting one. And right now I'm, I don't have like a mic, a personal mic that records my own audio. It might record some background audio, so try to ignore that. Uh, yeah, so right now, right now you have your skin, open it with a GIMP or something, so, and just let it load. Okay, so, from here on out, you could, uh, mod your skin right now. You can, eh, whatever. So, once you mod your skin... I won't be providing any like um, tutorial on how to texture this. You can just look it up on YouTube. It's actually pretty simple. If you keep, the more you do it, the more it gets easier. So once you're done editing your skin, you're gonna want to save it as. Oh wait, no. Um, once you're done editing your skin, you have to right-click on this layer, this background layer, and it sh and you should add an alpha channel. What? I'm doing right now is to remove a teeth block so your skin the teeth of the Rex won't have a skin block right here so what you want to do here is um, select all um, and cut and make a new layer a transparency layer Edit, um, where's paste, and paste it, there. Now you're going to want to anchor it down, down here. So now you have these two. Now click the select by color tool. And you're going to want to cut this. And then cut this. Now you could remove this layer. And select none. There. Now that you uh, removed the teeth block, you want to save it. Save as. Save as uh, PNG. Save as PNG. PNG. Okay, set it right. And just save it. Um, you can close GIMP right now. So now that you have the. Uh, PNG file. You're gonna wanna open your DDS converter and look. Take a good look at these options. Pause the video and copy it down. This is important. You have to save it as DXT5. By the way, like when I first installed it, it installed as DXT3 and it crashed my game. So just save it as DXT5 and do not build mip maps. So, you want to open your skin. Uh, let's see, how do I open it? Oh, yeah, here. Desktop, Rack Skin, PNG. And there. Yeah, now you have your DDS file. Yeah, open. You're going to want to 
Hold on. Open hex editor. Open your skin. I mean, get your, uh, get your dig site file, which is the dinos Judith River B .tml. And you want to open the DDS file. So here we got two tabs. Um, press Control A to select all of this, and copy. And we're gonna look at the bottom right here. It says Cryptosaurus, Styrac, and T-Rex. But really, the format is. Hold on pictures. I downloaded this off um, off someone's tutorial page just to clarify things up. And pause the video and look at this model. As you can see the dead skins are above the live skins right here and here. So that means since the T-Rex is at the first like selection Kratosaurus is T-Rex um, we want to search we want to hit search hold on scroll up we want to hit find and find 44 44 53 and 20 find that's the wait hold on find next wait the first one was the dead skin right here. Let me just clarify this up. Find. Yes. Okay, so that's the dead skin of the T-Rex. Then find next. This is the live one. And if you're editing other ones, such as the Styracosaurus, which is the middle one, you're going to want to go to the live skin. So you have to find find one, find next, find next, and then find next. This is how the format is on any other dinosaurs, too. So it's weird, but it's how it is. So since this part, this segment, is the live T-Rex skin, what you're going to want to do is paste the DDS file to the live skin. And, um, where's paste? Oh. Paste. There. Now once it's pasted, you can just, uh, save. Hit save. And you're done. That's how you skin. That edits the, um, whole T-Rex thing thingamajig here's your file here's the file you can play your skin and admire your creation uh, thank you YouTube and please subscribe to my uh, main account superhands8 it's I'm gonna provide the link in the description of everything you might need just post just post the comments and I'll answer every question you want okay peace